Hello boys and girls, if any. Today I'm going to show you a nice replay between Color Feet and a player called Antic. I'm not sure if this Antic is the same Antic as YouTube streamer, but nevertheless, let's go and take a look. So, Antic is playing as blue, uh, while Color Feet is playing as red. Let's. Yes, okay. So, Color Feet is here. The game is on pause. They are playing as England. Colorfeed is England and uh, Antic is England as well. So this is gonna be like a preparation game for the upcoming Season Clash 2 tournament. Let's release the polls. And here we are. So Colorfeed, although it's... Uh, um, Zero PD, color feed is playing through two down holes. And uh, let's see what do we have from Antic. And Antic is also playing through two town holes. So, no surprise here. Most likely the players will just play through economy, trying to get more peasants, more of everything. But so far, I believe they will be following exactly the same tactics, two down holes, two barracks, uh, and uh, no, Antic is rushing for an academy instead of the second barracks. Let's see what Colorfeed is doing. So Colorfeed is also rushing for academy, so buildings wise, they are pretty tight, much to match. And Colorfeed has already made uh, his first harvesting upgrade, and his peasants are moving to the mail and these peasants are staying here doing nothing uh, it's a slight mistake by color feed because these peasants could gather some resources over here meanwhile and second barracks follows immediately let's see if Antic is getting his second barracks yes Antic is getting his second barracks getting the gold mine and sending out the pikeman to look out for other gold mines and just scout the territory so far, so good for both players. Point-wise, they are very tied to each other. 54 points. Colorfit has got his diplomatic center. Let's see if Antic has... Yes, uh, Antic also is building or constructing the diplomatic center. We should be ready in a minute. Yes. And we can see that Antic immediately hired some siege Cossacks. Let's see if Colorfit is doing the same thing. Yes, and Colorfit is also rushing for uh, a couple of Siege Cossacks, just 5 Siege Cossacks and uh, 20, 20 Archers. And then we have the Light Infantry. I believe Colorfit has used this uh, game bug when you can point your camera to the enemy city. Even though it's not yet scouted out, you can still can hear the city sounds. And these you can identify location of your enemy. Because Colorfit is sending his Siege Cossacks straight to the enemy place. And here we can see that Antic, Antic is ready to accept uh, those four or five, five color fit siege cossacks following just with his two siege cossacks and the point here is not to defeat enemy siege cossacks but just to follow enemy siege cossacks and keep your buildings yours so Antic has much more siege cossacks and color fit obviously does not want to fight here otherwise he will lose the cossacks and he's just running away Meanwhile, here are some others following and most likely will be able to capture this gold mine and blow it up. Yes, uh, and taking out peasants because they are playing with no capture peasants. So this is uh, a dirty or nice trick, whatever you would like to call it, to take out the peasants so the peasants can uh, fight the enemy military units. We can see here that... Uh, one formation of pikemen, 36 pikemen, uh, and one formation of light infantry plus some archers are going towards Colorfit's base. But I believe Colorfit has already spotted those. Let's say no, not yet. Siege Cossacks have not yet spotted this small formation because uh, the light infantry units they have very long range, 
uh, of first sight, probably same as drummers, maybe slightly less, I'm not sure. And here Colorfit is losing his Siege Cossacks to um, advanced forces of Antique. Meanwhile, Colorfit is also sending his formation of uh, archers, let's see how many archers over here, just 10 archers, uh, 72 light infantry and 36 pikemen. And now Colorfit sees these approaching formations. Let's take on pause and see how many upgrades they have. So Colorfit has got all the defense upgrades, but not yet the attack upgrades. Uh, how about Antique? He is getting his defense upgrades and not yet finishing the attack upgrades as well. So if they would fight at this moment, I believe Colorfit would win because it's just 36 pikemen versus 36 pikemen and everything else is pretty equal but I believe Colorfit has more light infantry. Yes, 36 light infantry versus 72 light infantry. So if they would fight right now, Colorfit would easily win this local fight. That's why Antic is retreating because he knows that he would lose this fight. And let's take Let's take a look at the gold mines. So how many gold mines Colorfit has at this moment? Uh, so it's all four gold mines are occupied, but it's not not yet upgraded. So the gold mines are not yet upgraded because most likely Colorfit spent all of his resources to upgrading his pikeman instead of upgrading the gold mines. Now let's check out what we have from the antique side. Uh, also not upgraded and uh, seems like he also has four gold mines but this gold mine is empty and it's empty because Colorfit took out peasants out of there so and this one is just under construction I oh, know okay so this one is not empty because he probably sent peasants back to the mines but this one is under construction so he just found this his fourth gold mine And he's hiring even more Siege Cossacks and on the infinite production the light infantry units. Here is some local fight going. Okay. Let's watch what's ha gonna happen over here. We can see that Antic has lots of food, 24,000 of food, and this will probably give him nice upgrades. Yes, he, he should rush. Yes, he is rushing for the last probably not yet last upgrade for his pikeman while colorfit is slowly marching to his base and antic is probably trying to make a sticky maneuver to bypass this formation and enter the base but i'm not sure if this is gonna work because colorfit has here 36 pikemen 36 light infantries and 15 archers so it's pretty equal forces but colorfit has uh pikemen upgraded even better and here is a gold mine which colorfit could potentially take let's put a pause here and take a look what's gonna what's going on here so this is 36 light infantries i don't know why antic decided to send them here so he's splitting up his forces his siege cossacks are running over here now this formation is staying over here, and these 36 light infantry are here. It might well be good for him or might be bad for him, because if Colorfit is um, attacking his base with the superior forces, that will be end. But uh, if Colorfit is splitting up his forces to defend from multiple directions, that could be end for Colorfit. But so far... Nor of those formations are able to approach Colorfit's base close enough. So let's see this local fight if it's gonna happen. So Col most likely Colorfit is, is asking his archers to attack enemy archers because we can see that archers are shooting enemy archers. And uh, somehow happens that Antic has won this local fight, probably because Colorfeed was not uh, dealing with the micromanagement well. Uh, 
and uh, not all, all of his light infantry units been attacking immediately. But here is gonna be another fight, which is also not gonna be in the favor of color fate. Because this formation of 72 pikemen and 72 light infantry will defeat the 70, uh, 72, only 68 left. But here, Antic, yes, uh, Colorfeed took out his peasants to defend the gold mine, but the gold mine was blown either way. Still, Colorfeed was able to save his peasants, which is nice. So, here, Colorfeed is retreating to save his units. And this retreat might be very costly because. Uh, if Antic has here some archers, no, he does not have, so that's okay so far. So, here, Siege Cossacks are running back and forth, trying to find some weak points of uh, each other. And in, in here, if Kalarfid has just ordered his units to march without attack, Antic could take his Siege Cossacks and kill some of the enemy units easily. I don't know why, what's happened here. Maybe Colorfeed did not have enough food, or why? Some of his archers just died. Here, a couple of formations going on. Where are the. Okay, so the pikemen over here are. And Drummer is here. So Colorfeed is trying to gather his forces all together, but looks like he's going to lose a couple of his units. Uh. Because they are just too spread out. And now Colorfeed is retreating back. Retreating back and trying to gather all the formations together. And once the formations are gathered together, it's now it's Antichrist trying. Let's, let's take a look for the upgrades. So... I, I was wrong probably because when I was checking for the upgrades the previous time for color fade this defense Square was empty most likely it was because another barracks been working on an upgrade uh, So it's fifth level of attack and sixth level of uh, up of defense. Let's check for Antic So for Antic we have uh, 6 level of defense and full upgrade for attack, but let's check another uh, another barracks over here. No, it's not working. So yes, he has fully attack upgrade for his pikemen. Let's go back to the fight and see how it goes this time. Yes, as expected. Antic pikemen are superior due to the attack upgrade, but not that much superior. So, Colorfit again lost his uh, local battle. But here are some more units marching towards Antic's base. I'm sure that Antic sees this uh, little marsh and is getting ready to defend himself. Yes, he has 72 formation here uh, and probably gonna be another. 72 formation of light infantry Let's get a pause and take a look for the statistics. So what do we have fr from the upgrades? Color Fitty is playing through food only while Antic is playing through food and wood uh, I believe playing through food food and wood is better because you do not have to buy wood for expensive price and now Antic expanding his uh, wood production to another place. It's nice um, No cuirass upgrade so far and color fits units. Let's take a look what's gonna what's going on with color fits units. They are slowly moving up here and Color fits peasants probably retreating back After not being able to establish a mine over there So here gonna happen another fight Yes, and while Antic is sending his units to just go without attack, Colorfeed is able to catch some of the units and kill them on Marsh. This being able to defeat this formation easily. 
and this formation is slowly approaching. Let's see if there are any archers. Just four archers. And now he's retreating back while archers are moving to the right side, probably to attack this gold mine. No, attacking this gold mine. We can see there is some kind of a desynchronization in the replay in the actual game. But Andik was able to spot the sticky maneuver from Colorfeed and defend his gold mine. Meanwhile, Colorfeed actually captured this gold mine and probably going to finish it soon. And we can see there are 30 peasants working on the gold production, means uh, three of the mines of the gold mines are upgraded. Which one is not upgraded? Okay, so we have just just four gold mines and somewhere else should be a gold mine. Okay, four gold mines, three of them upgraded and one is empty. Now Colorfeed is trying to distract enemy while Antic has switched to producing grenadiers uh, instead of archers and light infantry. Grenadiers are very nice units, but they are expensive and they are also expensive to upkeep and their prices goes higher as more you get. So now uh, it could be deadly for your economy, but it could also be very beneficial for your strategy. Now Colorfeed is targeting this drama to uh, disable some spots of the map for Antic. This seems to be a somehow deadly army, but Colorfish should be able to defend himself with his forces. But I'm not, I'm not sure. If they are playing nicely, Colorfish might be able. Before they start to fight, let's check the upgrades once again. So Colorfish is getting his last attack and uh, he has got full defense upgrades. And now Colorfish is starting to make the attack upgrades for his... 17th century musketeers that's uh, that's interesting how about how about antic what do we have here we have full attack and full defense upgrades for the pikemen but nothing for musketeers yet now statistics colorfeed has also got his um, axe upgrade for wood cutting efficiency and also gonna a couple more food production upgrades. These food production upgrades are very important. As we can see here, Colorfe has two mills and uh, he is harvesting food very intensely. But not wood yet, probably did not yet switch his peasants. Only this little bunch of peasants are actually harvesting wood. Okay. Let's go back to this local battle and see if something gonna happen over here. Not so far, Antic decided to retreat back with his Grenadiers plus Pikemen plus uh, Light Infantry Army. I believe it probably time to switch Light Infantry to the Runda Shears, but I'm not sure. Meanwhile, Colorfeed is sending his uh, small small divisions to directly to the Antics base. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but currently Colorfeed is short on dwellings, which is very annoying usually. So Colorfeed is losing his formations over here to the superior forces, especially to these Grenadiers, which are just shooting and killing the pikemen. In here, Colorfeed is trying to catch up enemy formations. Somehow it feels like uh, when you're chasing enemy, you are f you're walking faster than when you are running back. Yeah. Here, Andik was easily able to defend his uh, base from these small formations. And probably going to try and attack this 
formation of color fade, maybe with the Siege Cossacks or whatever. And again, there is no archers, but color fade will be able to capture this gold mine, I believe. Yes. Although it's not yet finished, it's still nice to get it captured. So uh, Antique is not putting there any more uh, gold production units. Why this little formation or these units are moving back? So, meanwhile, Colorfree has hired lots of Dragoons. How that... <laughs> like 400 Dragoons, that's insane. Colorfree will need lots of Iron and Coal to upkeep these Dragoons shooting. Let's see if Andik is getting any Dragoons. Yes, he's also getting Dragoons, but just a few of those. And here, Colorfeed is losing his units to the Grenadier's attack. So, these walk back and forth. These maneuvers are good for Antic because he has Grenadier's and they are just slowly shooting down Colorfeed's pikemen and light infantry. So, for Colorfeed, it would be more beneficial, I believe, to just turn back and fight, but I'm not sure. Siege Cossacks here, another formation here. Probably these Grenadiers will attack the gold mine. No, he's playing smarter. He's first killing the guards and then capturing the gold mine. So this gold mine can produce some gold and taking out the peasants. It was smart. These siege Cossacks are just running back and forth, distracting enemy Grenadiers. And as expected, Colorfeed is able to defend himself, but the gold mine is lost. Dragoons are approaching, and these dragoons could easily be lost to the Siege Cossacks, so... Colorfeed sees that immediately, and trying to find some... some safe or backup from the pikemen and light infantry. So... Now he is retreating back while the Grenadiers and Dragoons of Antic are following and shooting down these formations. Let's see what do we have from Color Fate. His Dragoons are still going out of, from the Diplomatic Center. And. Colorfield is probably decided to sacrifice this formation in order to keep this enemy army busy. This gold mine is empty again. These peasants are going somewhere, probably in search of a gold mine. So what's what's gonna happen here? This formation somehow survived. And now Colorfeed is trying to save it with the Dragoons. Now marching back. How many Dragoons over there? 42, let's see. 108 Dragoons. And now the United Forces are fighting back. Now he's playing other side. Colorfeed was trying to chase uh, Antic, but Antic decided to take a fight. And now the Siege Cossacks will try to dis distract Dragoons. But it's not enough of the Siege Cossacks, and uh, the Dragoons are protected, so... Let's... Let's... Let's put sound on slightly... Slightly lower volume, but first let's see the statistics. So both of the players have got the Cuirass upgrades for the Pikeman. Uh, and Andik is getting more food production upgrades. Everything else is pretty much the same. So let's make the sound slightly less noisy. And let's let's watch this fight, this glorious fight. So these 108, 108 dragoons are deadly. So. Antic probably decided to kill all of his Dragoons in order to hire even more. Yes, so he hired 81 Dragoon. And uh, he has two stables. 
and producing red tears, but I think uh, it's a little too late for Antique. I might be wrong though. Let's see how it goes for Colorfit. Colorfit is trying to advance with his dragoons and the pikemen and the light infantry units. How about stables? No stables for Colorfit so far. So Colorfit decided to to get this gold mine instead of this one and he also decided to invest into dragoons uh, instead of instead of stables I think here is something wrong with that game because replay shows that dragoons are pretty used and instead we see that light infantries are coming out so it probably was uh, some kind of a some kind of a glitch when you click Ctrl Alt click and hiring 100 dragoons probably game replay did not properly recorded this uh, combination of clicks or whatever so Colorfit does not have 400 dragoons he has just 108 dragoons here is a destroyed iron mine and uh, how many dragoons over here 71 so yes Antic should be able to defend himself because it's 71 dragoons and counting versus 108 dragoons. But Colorfit is here trying to play nicely, losing some dragoons and trying to attack from the hill, which is nice. Also, sending some Siege Cossacks to distract enemy dragoons. Meanwhile, the pikemen are killing each other, and uh, most likely here. Antique will be able to defeat. We can see that on one side Antique is winning, on the other side Colorfit is winning. And this hill fight probably been very costly for Antique. Because Dragon's been able to shoot much, much longer distance and shoot much more units. So how many Dragon's left? 47. How many Dragon's Colorfit has? 91 and losing one more here for the gold mine now I'm going back to the hill and killing some more enemy dragoons waiting for the backup of these pikemen and light infantries while these archers are probably going for this gold mine so Colorfit has advanced to the 18th century and got the balloon so now he sees entire map How about Antique? No, Antique does not yet have the balloon. Are they going to fight or are they going to stand here? Colorfit is still producing the light infantry, but I think it would be better to start to produce Rune Shears when the enemy has shooting units like Dragons. I think Antic does not pay enough attention to his economy because his peasants are just staying here in the wood production place in this little forest which is currently empty and just resting here in the mail so probably not patient enough or too much discarded by color feed. Where are the peasants going? Seriously, he sent his peasants for this forest and Colorfit of course decided to shoot a couple of these but it could be costly for Colorfit because uh, no, he did not he did not lose any of the dragoons to the Siege Cossacks Marsh but he was able to shoot a couple of enemy units including Siege Cossacks, Pikeman, Red Tears this red deer should go and defend the dragoons. So now the backup is coming for color feed, but he he's short on units, and those pikemen are already on the hill. So I'm not sure if this gonna be end for this local standoff. 
What do we see here? Color fits and his three tiers. Yeah. So this is probably end of this uh, local standoff. And Colorfit is retreating with all of his units back to the base. Yes, and Colorfit switched to the Runda Shears instead of the Light Infantries. Now Colorfit is again hiring 400 Dragoons, but since the game glitched, I have no idea if it's really 400 Dragoons or some other number. So, Red Ears here, they're capturing some gold mines and then retreating back. Also, Colorfit has researched the mines discovery upgrade in the economy. So now Colorfit knows where the mines are and probably able to capture some of the gold mines. Uh, meanwhile, Antic does not yet have the balloon. Let's see if no, and he is not yet in the 18th century. He does not even have a cathedral and artillery depot. But he has three stables and fully upgraded re tiers but he does not have much of the re tiers so it's not gonna help him that much how many stables colorfit has same th colorfit has four stables four stables more dragoons so definitely colorfit has a better economy while nothing is happening here and uh, units are trying to Reorganize. Let's check the statistics. So, Colorfit has got his second food production upgrade. This is very deadly. And um, let's compare. What do we have? We have almost 400 peasants for Antique and 440 peasants for Colorfit. So, Colorfit was either able to kill some of the enemy peasants or produce more, but somehow Colorfit has almost 50 more peasants. Gold production almost 100,000 and just 80,000 gold for Antique. So, Colorfit probably upgraded his mines faster. And for food production, Colorfit has 1.5 million of food, while Antique, Antique has just 600,000. This is a huge difference. Uh, still, Antique has 400,000 of wood, while Colorfit has just 144,000. So, let's look around and see, are there any local maneuvers? Yes. So, Anik is sending his red ears probably to protect these gold mines. Well, his peasants are building the gold mines. Red ears are working here and there. Let's see if Anik is going to advance to the 18th century by building the cathedral and the artillery depot. No, not yet. He is not going to advance and he has just 35 peasants working on gold while Colorfit has 55. I believe there is some mine. Yes, this mine for some reason has just 9 peasants instead of 10. And Colorfit has about 50 peasants just doing nothing, relaxing here on this mill. And here is a little, a little bunch of peasants. These peasants are going somewhere, probably expanding the economy empire. Meanwhile, Colorfit is gathering his uh, dragoons and the retiers in one wrist. How many dragoons are here? 109 dragoons. How many retiers? 56. Uh, I don't know why Colorfit is not. Uh, building formations out of his dragoons. Instead, he is attacking the gold mines and losing two red tiers to that attack. Now, let's check how many red tiers over here. So, it's 77, uh, 67, sorry, 7, 67 red tiers, and how many dragoons? And uh, 77 dragoons. So, we can see that Andik is putting his dragoons into formations. This prince plus one defense and plus one attack to the dragoon. So very nice bonuses. Meanwhile, Colorfi is um, making some sneaky maneuvers. Yes, uh, it was his mine, but it will be probably captured soon. I'm not sure. But somehow Anik does not dare to attack or fight. 
and Colorfield is able to keep this gold mine. Let's see if Antic is putting any formation out of his three tiers. Yes, he is making formations out of his three tiers. Probably there will be another formation. While Colorfield is just trying to defend his gold mines from the Siege Cossacks rushes. And uh, Colorfield is not making formation out of his three tiers and Dragoons. I don't know why. Meanwhile, the Pikemen and Rindashiers are gathering over here. Why would someone build a mill so far away from the base? Why not just build a mill over here and connect these two mills together? I don't know. Uh, and uh, Colorfit is short on dwellings and doing nothing about it. I don't see... Okay, so instead of building houses, Colorfit decided to build three adding sentry barracks. Guys, it's three 18th, bar 18th century barracks immediately. So Colorfield has got the construction speed upgrade and three 18th century barracks. That's insane. Meanwhile, what is this? It's cathedral. Meanwhile, Andy finally decided to advance to the 18th century. Uh, and he's building two cathedrals, not one. So he decided probably... Well, I did not have a cathedral for a long time. Now I need two of those. In the late game, Siege Cossacks are no longer that dangerous because a combination of three tiers and dragoons are basically deadly for Siege Cossacks. So now Colorfit has got three adding sentry barracks. Let's see. And he is hiring pikemen. This makes sense because uh, uh, there is no firepower fire ray and firepower upgrade so far although colorfit has some resources and probably will be able to get more a couple at least a couple of these upgrades uh, it still makes sense to first get some mid shield in in the form of 18th century pikemen against the enemy dragoons because the enemy dragoons are advancing and they probably have enough firepower and fire resources to deal some substantial damage. So Colorfit is trying to hide his dragoons behind. Let's see if Colorfit has enough resources. Yes, Colorfit has enough resources of iron and coal. Here we see fight of pikemen and three tears and slowly slowly on one side, again, on one side it's Antic winning, on another side it's Colorfit winning. So, I think Colorfit has to bring in these Yonis. Just to keep the enemy dragoons busy shooting. This little hero formation is fighting here till the very end. I'm interested if Colorfit has got officers upgrades. No, no officers upgrades. Here comes another stable. And for some reason Antic decided to retreat. Yes, he would not be able to defeat Colorfit here, but still. Okay, retreating. And why are peasants are walking here? What's wrong? Peasants, why are you there? Let's see if Colorfit has got the cavalry production. Yes, Colorfit has got that upgrade. What about what about Antique? Same thing. So for Antique side we have four stables. How about for Colorfit? For Colorfit we have five stables. Five stables and three 18th century barracks. This is insane. Colorfit's uh, uh, Colorfit's economy is so much superior. And now Colorfit is starting to produce musketeers and upgrading his pikemen. Uh, well, a pikeman upgrade is useful when you are expecting to fight with the enemy melee units and not the range units, because these upgrades do not give any extra protection against bullets. But still. If enemy has lots of these uh, pikemen, rendershears, and especially reed ears, 
Yeah, uh, upgrading pikemen makes some sense. Let's see if Killerfit is getting any firepower. Yes, as I said, fire rate upgrades being uh, researched, and now firepower upgrades are following up. Uh, also, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I've heard from the game developers that now all of these firepower upgrades they bring 15% uh, firepower boost, not what's written here, not 10%. 25% and 10% again. I'm not sure I might be wrong or they might be decided to change it or they maybe just forgot to change the titles. But anyway, Colorfeed is finally sending some of his peasants to this mill. While uh, his little or no little but all of the, all of his dragoons and retiers are walking in tandem to once again destroy these mines. This time Antic was not able to blow up mines in time and now Colorfit will have some extra... No, I thought Colorfit is going to leave the mines to get some extra resources. But Antic has spotted this little attack and decided to rush with his units. That's why Colorfit is retreating back. The artillery depot. Yes, and they are allowed to build cannons, but none of them are building cannons. I'm not sure why. Maybe they think this is more like sportsmanship, not to build the cannons, but... I think if you have one or two cannons or halters, uh, that could be very useful. Especially when Colorfit is packing up his pikemen and uh, dragons, uh, retiers, these tight... Just a couple of Hauser shows, like if ha five Hausers would shoot over here, one third of Colorfit's army would be dead. But for some reason, Antic decides to go out of his base and fight on the neutral territory. I don't think Antic would be able to win this local fight. Colorfit has much more units over here. And now Colorfit is advancing with his uh, melee units, including, let's see if this includes any musketeers. There's a pikeman, yes, and a couple of musketeers. I really hate when my units split up just because of the hill. Can you just decide to walk one way or other way? So 18th century pikemen, let's let's take a pose and see how many upgrades 18th, 18th century pikemen. So these are a six level of defense and six level of attack for the 18th century pikemen. That's some nice attacks. Now let's see the stats. What do we have? Where are those pikemen? Pikemen 17 plus two for attack. And uh, let's compare with the reach here. And reach here has 27. But you have much more of these pikemen compared to raid here's. So, these pikemen, we just seen like these pikemen being deadly for the antics raid tiers. As I predicted, Antic does not have a chance in this local fight, and I believe that's probably the end because Antic does not have any more army. And is he in the 18th century finally? Yes, he is in 18th century, so he sees approaching army and he surrenders. So, I believe that's it. Yes. Okay, guys, it was a very nice replay. And uh, before I quit, let's finally check the statistics and see what's happened here. So, Colorfin has got 178,000 of gold and 139,000 of gold for Antic. So gold production is not that drastic. But if we compare the food production, Colorfit has got 3 millions and more of food, while Antic has got just 1 million and 200,000 of food. So it's more than twice less for Antic compared to Colorfit. And that's why Colorfit was able to uh, 
advance his economy in time and uh, he was using his units very smart so when he was not able to fight with his musketeers because lack of the fire rate and fire power upgrades he was using his pikemen but when he has got the fire power and fire rate upgrades he has got some uh, musketeers and uh, in in help with help of uh, rate tiers and uh, dragoons it was a deadly force but the key the key point in this fight was the economy as usual I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, see you in the official Cossack 3 tournament. I hope I will be able to stream and I already talked to the developers and most likely I will be streaming at least a couple of the games. See you, bye bye.